Yo, what's going on guys? We're going to be playing some Nasus in the top lane with an interesting setup because right now Doran items are a bit overtuned. Normally you'd go for D shield on Nasus, but if you're up against a weak early game champion, like a tank, for example Scion, then we can get away with going for Lethal Tempo, Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand, Bone Plating for the all-ins, Revitalize for the all-ins to sustain, Attack Speed, AD, and Armor. The attack speed from Lethal Tempo and Alacrity is going to synergize heavily with the D-Blade, plus D-Blade gives us 100 health, and we have Ghost Flash for running him down all-in. Nasus top has a decent all-in potential with Lethal Tempo, even pre-6. Normally Nasus plays more for 6 and more for Sheen, but in this case we don't really have to because the matchup... Oh hey friend, he doesn't win this. He has phase rush as well. We can heal off passive. We have two lethal tempo procs, or two, two lethal tempo stacks. I'm gonna walk past that, auto Q. It might seem kind of troll to ghost there, but look at his health. And uh, it's gonna be hard for him to play now. Or much harder to play from low health. Auto into Q, we miss both, very cool. Extremely spicy. Let's walk him down. Tried to auto then Q, couldn't quite find it. You're not going to get that many stacks early on because your Q cooldown is so high. You mainly get stacks once you have a few points in your Q. Alright, we're going to kite this out. We don't want to take that shield damage. Oof, he still gets it. We see where Briar is right now. He's already out of his potions here. Got him with the Q. I'm going to have to use my potion. Nice. Not, he has long auto range at 175. I think he's he's not dead here, but if he goes for a cannon, he's in trouble. Wither, E, auto Q. He might have the flash. Yep, down he goes. He greeted for cannon. I don't feel like dying. He's going to pop phase rush off me and basically kill me. So we'll just go ahead and back off. <laughs> We have a pretty good back. We can go for Boots or for Sheen. I prefer to have Sheen. I'll go for Refill as well. We're chilling. You would have thought he would TP. Okay, he did TP. He's going the 80 Scion. The problem with Tank Scion is there's too much max health damage in League of Legends right now. Whether it's in a champion's kit, it doesn't matter because every champion has access. Whether they go for Eclipse, Divine, Bork, Leandre's Demonic, uh, Lord Dominic's Regard. There's just so much max health damage people can access. We have more than one point in our Q now. It's going to help out a lot. Last hitting. He's playing back. I don't know where Briar is, so I'll, I'll play this slow. We'll all in him when he goes for a cannon. We'll kind of loop around and hit it more from a flank angle than from straight forward because we don't want him to hit us and my cannon at the same time necessarily this key could be baiting us here auto w auto q phase rush is a really good uh keystone to take versus anasis that was smart nice and nice he's gonna step up for that I'll hold on to Q until his shield's down. <laughs> Auto Q. I figured he would drop it anyways. His phase rush is on cooldown. He's dead. And that's why you go lethal tempo on Nasus against weak early game top laners. You wouldn't necessarily do it against something like a Riven or an Irelia. But against a Scion, it's extremely potent. I'll just let this wave come to me. It's already coming to me. He has minion advantage and slight reinforcement as well. We'll go ahead and grab boots. We'll grab a ruby and head back. <clears throat> the D-Blade's giving a lot of value. 100 health. It's the same amount of AD as the long sword as well. And 100 health, when you combine it with armor, it's basically blocking two autos. So we have two extra autos of health. You could go for free boots and approach velocity. The bone plating and revitalize help out a lot in the early game in particular. We're about to hit six. We'll force the all in with ghost. He doesn't have flash. Or ghost, They're, his flash is on cooldown here. Auto Q. 
We need a break vision here. Oof, that's rough. That was a really bad trade for me. I took way too much damage. It's too many minions. He did a good job of perceiving that. Auto in the queue. We'll heal off pass. I'm about to get my R. Yeah, good luck trying to dive me now. Auto in the queue. That's a plus 12. Nasus R gives them six stats. Armor, health, magic resist, AoE burn, lower Q cooldown, and uh, increased auto and Q range. So you can't really beat us when I'm on my R. I guess he reset. <coughs> we can get all of our health back here. Oof, all right. Phase Rush is on cooldown. What are you going to do now, big boy? That's what I thought. He's going to R away. I'm going to outscale him super, super hard. Even though I didn't cue the cannon. <laughs> I thought my Q was going to be up in time. We'll back for Kindling Gem or we could go Tier 2s. I'd say we delay tier twos as long as possible. Divine Thunder is going to be stupid damage versus him since he's tanky. He's got a lot of health. Whenever he, he's already got nearly 200 bonus HP. Their team is decenting its Nasus in a team fight. They have AoE CC on Lissandra, AoE Slow, AoE Snare, her AoE Passive Slow. They have TF Red Card, Briar AoE Push, Scion AoE Knockups. So we don't really want a team fight against their team in particular. Unless my team's ahead, in which case it's kind of okay. Is that a Briar R? It did a weird little thing on me. I'll take off his shield. I don't feel like getting hit by it. I was thinking earlier, oh, let the shield fall so I can do more damage. My Q's on a short enough cooldown. I don't really care at this point. This phase rush is on cooldown. Why is he fighting me like this? What a goose. Got it. Plus three. He's going to want this cannon. He does have phase rush. So if his phase rush is up, I'm not really going to wither him. Just hold on to it. Because my wither costs a lot of mana anyways. Now that his uh, phase rush is on a cooldown. Auto Q. Hey friend. I think he's dead. Auto, oof. Good flash from him. I need to catch this wave. Too late, already got past me. Dang. Auto Q. Is what it is. He doesn't have flash. I'll have my ghost. He didn't have mana for R there, I don't think. Go ahead and push this out. About 415. I don't think I die here. Yeah, nice try from the Briar. She thought she could kill me because I was low, but I heal a lot from passive. 16% life still. Auto in the queue. Did he TP back? That's what it seems like. Are plants up? They don't seem to be. Auto in the queue. Not an amazing trade. We're farming. Only have enough mana for a few Qs. Probably end up resetting here. If he goes in for plates, I can stack up my lethal tempo off of him. It's a much bigger threat than a fleet. Man, these are so cheap. Only 20 mana. Auto in the queue. 
I'm looking to back. I don't really want to stay. He can freeze it if he wants to. Scions usually don't want to, though. They're trying to get gold off your turret with their huge health pool with the turret demolish. If turret demolish wasn't a rune, then the NAS, the uh, Scion meta would change a lot. Scion metas permanently push like a sperm cell. Take plates, die, they don't care. Because with the way they stack it, you're punished a lot more for kill gold than you are for a farm gold or plate gold. In terms of your, how your shutdown bounties work, it, it translates much harder, uh, a much bigger bounty on your head if you're getting your gold from kills rather than CS and plates. That's the only reason why that type of playstyle is even possible. A lot of people don't realize that. Because it's inherently an, an incredibly wasteful, high risk, high death playstyle. The only reason why it's not like actually high risk is because the way League has bounties set up. They're subsidizing it heavily. They're subsidizing your poor decisions with the bounties. Hmm, that hurt. Oh, there's this phase rush. He's feeling it now, Mr. Krabs. I, I shouldn't have used my E. It's too much mana. He's going to be resetting. 4.55. 6.39. If I have the Sheen proc. Can almost one tap melee means you need a little bit of damage on him and then my Q kills. Assume he's coming back top. There he is. Yard straight from base. Let's get a ward down. At least a tier one. Oh, he went Gore Drinker. I haven't seen this before. It's actually good for him to waste mana on me, especially if he's not hitting my minions. Because I can heal it all back through my passive. Like, that's good. He didn't really hit my minions. Mm, I'll fight him for this a bit. Auto in the queue. There goes his the shield. This trade is totally fine. He's probably thinking the same thing, though. He only gets <coughs> my front line there, not my back line. If he drops his shield to explode, my Q hits him, and if he doesn't pop his shield, then I'll just cut through it anyways. <clears throat> just gotta not waste mana on E, that's what's doing it for me. Yeah, I can break the shield with a single Q. Hey friend. He's getting low. He's very low. He's gonna hit me with a gore drinker. It's gonna take me more than one Q to kill this turd bag. <laughs> There's the gore drinker. Oh, two turret shots. All right. Makes sense. That's okay. We'll heal it back. Skadoosh. There it is. Hey, friend. Auto Q. Please don't let me miss cannon. Nice. I only missed a range creep for that, just about. Stand off to the side. He's trying to gore drinker me here. He's trying to bait me underneath his turret. He didn't quite get it though. Auto in the Q. We're at nearly 300 stacks now. This is where you start to stack up really, really fast. Walk him down. He's out. He's kind of out of mana. If he has enough for R, though. Got it. We'll take it. One. He needs three hits. I think his phase rush. Okay, it is up, actually. I kill this guy here. I'll pop R. Got the wither. Now we bonk him down with Qs. 
auto in the queue, and that's Nasus, baby. Super balanced character. Damage, balanced, tankiness, balanced, sustain, balanced, scaling, blah, 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 balanced. <laughs> no, I missed cannon. Didn't have the mana for it. Only thing that keeps him balanced is Nasus players being bad at last hitting. Alright, I got it back. He might stop my recall. I hope he doesn't. Don't do it. Always looking for it. He wants the plates. Is what's going on? Uh, it's definitely Merc Tread Angle. We'll pick up a tier. And from here, you can go just about anything. I would say Shojin's pretty cracked. Shojin and Black Cleaver, they're tankier than most tank items because there's so much health, so much ability haze that you might as well go for it. I'd be down for Spear and Black Cleaver. If you're going to team fight, it forces you more into Gargoyle. Uh, Gargoyle or like a Hole Breaker. I can one tap these minions. We'll kill the backline first. They're, they're very squishy. That's why the frontline tanks will tap them down. All plus 12s, baby. Cute kills. Yeah, 827. They're only 7, 7 health. 775. Nice. Auto into cute. Hey, buddy. Never gonna ride a mana either with the tier. E auto cute. Well, maybe if I'm using my E's and W's. Look, he can't even auto me. His attack speed's too slow. He wasn't able to get off his phase rush. That's hilarious. Auto in the queue. Barely got it there. He lost his shield. Skadoosh. 411. Yeah, I don't think Gore Drinker's Scion is the move here. But this is also not necessarily a good matchup for Scion. Scion needs his jungler to camp it. Because you don't really beat Nasus on any laner. You kind of beat Nasus' team because you can't move around the map that well. Yeah, she's not going to do anything. There it is, 417. He wants the back. He knows I'm going to take his turret if he does, though. I, I guess <laughs> it was around the 15 minute mark. We had enough points in Q to power stack uh, our Q. Our Q is on a low enough cooldown because we had enough levels in it. Oh, this is annoying. They don't have the damage to kill me. I'm also healing a lot. Extra armor magic resist on my R, extra health. They tried to CC chain on me, so it didn't quite work out for them. Got it. Ooh, we couldn't quite get it there. He's still in my E burn, so I gotta wait. Auto Q. Very cool. Mm, don't take the cannon. Don't do it. He really wants this push. I don't really need him up here is the thing. That's plus three. Fun fact, turrets give plus three. I think inhibs do as well. Nexus does. You just need to keep last hitting Nexus with your Q. Easy way to stack it. They're all going to start grouping over here. Get the wither. And the Q. All ghost away. It's not worth dying. It's way too many people. <laughs> we do get dragon for it at least. So that's pretty good. It's a tough fight. From this position, I'd say... I mean, we could go mana moon even. I think winters is better though. After we have Shojin, we'll go Winters. Winters gives us a fat shield every time we wither. It's a pretty short cooldown. What is the cooldown? It's like eight seconds. 
So yeah, almost every single wither will be getting a fat shield based on our mana. Pretty good stats on it. The shield is a more of a surprise stat, which is one of the best stats against champions. They, they don't calculate for it very well. All of a sudden that shield popping up. They've already overcommitted and they can't quite finish you off. We can't just stand around and, and queue every single minion because we need to push the wave if our laner is going to leave. Otherwise the enemies can just end. Like five man stack mid and end if, if we're taking too long to push. Because we need to have the threat of us ending on the split. Exactly what we're going to be doing here. Auto Q. We're at 540 stacks. <laughs> 21 minute mark. It's a really good sweet spot. 500. If you're 500, even like 30 minutes in, it's not that bad because you're, do you're doing such a critical amount of damage that you can still solo pretty much anybody. Which is what we need if we're going to play split push. They're all kind of resetting. I got to get a word right there. Ah, uh, she saw that sucks. I didn't realize that was Lissandra support. I thought it was Lissandra mid. It's TF mid. Hey, Ziri. With her. She's running me into her teammates. I gotta leave. I'll take this. Skadoosh. No clue where they are. They're all missing. Got the Wither Q. She's pretty low. Oh, hey. <laughs> Twisted Fate. Plus 12 for me. Flash Wither. R into Q. I can't finish anyone off here. Oh, this is bad. I'm getting chunked. Yeah, turret's fully heated up. It's killing my whole team. I gotta walk out here. Pop him with the wither and we run. That's an ugly fight, dude. That freaking turret absolutely carried it. Wither onto Lissandra's pretty low value. Yeah, Briar damage reduction 70%. The crazy thing about it is you can't cancel it either. And she heals. It's a better Master Yi meditate because Master Yi can't hurt you while meditating. She hurts is a big damage push that you can't cancel. Heal, damage reduction, CC, and damage. It does everything. Absolutely everything. I got to stay away from these team fights. That's going to be how we lose this game. They have too much AOE CC. This is a weird fight, 2v5. We'll go for Black Cleaver next into Holebreaker or Holebreaker into Black Cleaver. We need more movement speed either way. Movement speed's gonna be critical for getting away from these fights. We're staying on top with Lethal Tempo. Conqueror is good on Nasus, Lethal Tempo is better. No point in me withering him here. He could just phase rush away or use his R. His R makes him immune to all forms of CC, including slows. Plus 12, we're at 600 now. Nice and nice. I'm gonna go bot side. Maybe I should match Nasus actually. We're getting close to Drag Soul. I'd rather have Drag than Baron at this point. They can, I don't think they can fight for it with Nasus up there. He's, I mean with Scion, <laughs> with Scion up there. He's gonna have to TP. Auto Q. Get the E down. Auto Q. Oh, I didn't get the plus twelve. Baron's definitely gone. We should just go for mid turret. They're gonna shred it so fast. 
Briar plus three item Ziri. I mean, it's gone. It's been gone. Yep. None of us would have been able to get there in time. Now we're taking a weird fight when they have Baron Empowerment. It's just not a good fight. We're coming to them when they already have the better team fight and they have more team gold. I don't, I don't want to fight that. It's not worth it. It's all risk, very low reward. Got all on for the low <coughs> Q cooldown. All in all, I guess it's worth. But me getting the inhib wasn't guaranteed. Plus, I had to burn R for it. Hey, Blast Cones OP. They need to remove Blast Cones. It's literally just whoever gets there first. Guaranteed gets away. Very cool, Briar. Thank you for sharing. It's crazy. She actually caught up through the Wither. Auto Q. Get the Wither on her. Auto Q. Got it. She is three full items, but I am three full items as well. We both have Merc Treads, so neither one of our Tier 2 boots was pulling that much value for either one of us. I'm going to let him have it. Because I still get the the extra one, the Residue. Hey, Lissandra. She's near a wall, so I'm not going to Wither that. Got the Wither. Why does this guy keep throwing red cards? Wither on the TF was a huge mistake. Accidentally, <laughs> mistakenly withered him there instead of the Ziri. When she's doing 80% of the damage output. <sighs> the question is Hole Breaker or Guardian Angel? I think Hole Breaker would be better, but I think I have to group somewhat. So I'll go for, or I should say Gargoyle, not Guardian Angel misspoke well I don't know I guess let's go hole breaker this item is pretty OP it's hard to decide they're both such a high value in theory gargoyle should be better but I need the movement speed Zira is doing so much damage I gotta be able to get out of her autos or be able to get to her with my autos at nearly 700 stacks, not as much as the Nasus jungle would have. Nasus jungle gets the most stacks out of Nasus in any position. It's almost pointless to even cast my E. It is a little bit of armor shred, but not that much. R into Q. This is cute. Very cute. Yeah, he's not, he can't do anything there. <laughs> if he's withered, he loses all of his damage output. So 75% attack speed slow, even at level 1. Let's get this Spire. The Spire's let him move super fast. Looks like she already got it. We gotta wait to be, to be able to grab it here. Oh, hey, Lissandra. taking all the spires my R is up we could definitely look to fight here if one of them kind of walks into me I don't want to walk at all four though that'd be a mistake she's right here by herself she's gonna jump over the wall I gotta let him go dragons coming up as well gotta be alive for that I think we killed Briar here. <coughs> Should have enough CC. Drop the W, E, Q, into the R. And down she goes. Got a red buff out of it too. That's Dragsoul. Easiest win con in all of League of Legends. Just get the dragons. Even if your comp falls off, you're almost guaranteed to win. The dragon advantage plus soul. They did nerf dragons. There's two or three patches back, but they buffed the soul to where it's still just as good if you have four drags. Not just one or two. 
Got it. Plus 12 for me. Auto in the queue. She goes over the wall. I gotta get my wither on zero. Yeah, I can't keep up with it. <laughs> we need an echo there to help finish the Ziri. Because I almost killed her, but she's the one who ended up still doing the most damage to me with low health. Are they double crit? No, they're not, so we wouldn't go for randoms. Could go Frozen Heart. TF's auto-based. Scion's low-key auto-based with what he's building, especially if he gets Titanic. He needs attack speed. I'm down for Frozen Heart. I'm also down for Gargoyle. Yeah, let's go Frozen Heart. It's a good op. Well, I don't know. I guess we'll try it. If we want to, we can always sell it for Black Cleaver, Dead Man's or Force Nature. TF's so far behind, he's not going to be able to fight the Echo. Come on, Echo, you, you can do it. Nope. I take it back. <laughs> TF's better. He's got more gold spent and Ziri shows up. Back to the split push. In theory, we shouldn't be able to lose with Jaxel plus a late game Sona and Asus. That Skarner does fall off somewhat. I'm not quite sure how good the Nihilus scaling is to be honest with you. I withered him towards the end of the phase rush because I want to get maximum slow duration. Let me guess, he's going to get to a plant. Oh, he should have gone for the plant. That would have saved him. Wait, his face rush is already back up. What in the world is that cooldown? 11 second cooldown. Cool. <laughs> that makes sense. We might actually lose here. My team wants to give up with Drag Soul, man. That is rough. You don't see that every day. Like, I get wanting to surrender when the enemy team has Draxel, but when you have it, you gotta believe in yourself to win, you know? If you can't believe in yourself to win with Draxel, when are you gonna believe in yourself? It only takes one more person to vote yes as well. But I'm at 800 stacks here. Zeri's kinda tanky, man. Bloodthirster's so broken. Taking that, that's a plus 12. We gotta fight them smart. We only only Wither the Ziri basically is fighting them smart. Dude, I can't even see this chick. I have no clue who my Wither went on there. Got tossed around like a freaking football there. Got it. Yeah, that fight went kind of wonky. <coughs> we weren't able to kill the Ziri. So she kind of just killed everybody. I had to go for who I could get to, basically. Look at her health. Tell me life still is balanced. She went from 100 health to well over half off of a single minion wave. And she was having to share it, too. You shouldn't have done that. I'm going to kill you all now. Yeah, you messed up, TF. Oh, you messed up, boy. 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 Come on now. There it is. Winnable. Oh, he's going to R out. My Q is on a 1.69, so when I'm on my R, my Q is on about a 1.8. Or it's on about a 0 0.8. 0 0.8 second cooldown. Incredible. The beatdowns. She doesn't have her GA now. That's huge. Might actually be able to kill her in a fight. Because that's the problem. If I have full commit for her, trying to run past her teammates, all I do is pop her GA, then I'll basically just die. I have to be able to still hit people to heal to survive. Is a big part of my tankiness. Plus three. We're at 900 stacks now. My R's up. It's only a 43 second cooldown. That's so stupid. Last 15 seconds, and it doesn't... The cooldown starts from when I first cast it, not from once it ends. Oh, 
Oh, you can't move, big boy. Come on, let's tango. <laughs> Look at my cues. That's hilarious. I'm going to unmute all. This is too much fun. My R is already almost back up. Ability haste is so freaking overtuned. We're at 85. Ability haste, which is nearly 50% cooldown reduction. Nine sixty-three. You can get frozen heart. Also pick up an elixir of iron for more tenacity. It's definitely what we need. Auto and acute. Nice. Almost at a thousand. Let's go for elder. We have some lane tempo here, map vision and whatnot. Might as well take elder. Elder's more important than Drag Soul. It's quite a bit stronger. Like, one team that has Elder versus the other team that has four Drags plus Soul. Elder wins. Bro, I can't move. Yep. That's the Ziri angle. They don't have minions, but I think they win here. We lost that fight with three Drag Advantage. Uh, soul and elder. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's pretty funny. And it's not this Nia's getting crapped on in the old chat, man. They're pooping on her head. Maybe I, I'm alive in time. We'll see. We'll see. <clears throat> they really need to look for the end on us because. I'm scaling out of control. If I could have gotten... Oh, she's busy typing. She's too busy. She's calling my team a bunch of baddies. Please focus Echo. Oh. All right. Maybe we don't lose here. That's so good for us. With her on the TF. Sion, when he's dead, does reduce damage against structures. They're actually going to lose now, dude. I'm full build, and we have this soul. We can't end from here. It's too far away. They still have double base turret. If they didn't have base turrets, then we could. But two nexus turrets is too much. All right, we're at 1,044 stacks. Nearly 40 minutes in. How long have you been talking crap? I just unmuted and they're <coughs> really going at it. Ziri is pretty OP though, man. She can just kite back and she has a bigger front line too, so she's not having to do that much work. She kind of just stands there and lets her team block for her. Hey, friend. Got her with the Q. I'm going to flash Q for that. I need a Q on her head. Yep, there it is. Got the Wither on Briar. That was a really good Scar in her play there. He completely set that up. I got to get out of this turret. This is bad news. Oh, I got my Q down. I die, though. Really yucky fight there. We could lose in theory from supers. Yeah, so in base. Oh, we actually lost. <laughs> Unless Echo gets down stun. Looks like minion swap aggro against Nexus. It gets like outer turrets, they don't. That was really close. <laughs> got Nexus got below half. Garner's taking that really slow. He may not be able to end. Uh, ooh, okay, okay, okay. The Shane Prox. And we got him. <laughs> what a game. Such a fiesta. Let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage level against enemy champions, we did have the most in the game. Very cool. For damage taken, 
most in the game as well. A little surprised by that. And self mitigated almost the most as well. Scion, Scion barely beat us out by uh, 5k damage. So we took the most, dealt the most, almost self mitigated the most for runes high value. All in all, Scion top lane with lethal tempo D blade, really fun strategy. If you're up against a tougher matchup, you should consider D shield and you can even go for teleport. But all in all, Flash Ghost, D Blade, Lethal Temple, the highest all in potential possible for NASA's top lane. If you enjoyed this NASA's video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.